truth is, you're never going back. Let him go! Nothing. I just hurt myself when I fell. Paul, Rihanna! Regent, come down! You've got to see this! Since the time of the darkness. Don't touch anything. I'm just lighting a candle. These are plans for constructing a power suit. And the flying ship, see? I can't read this. These are the spellbinder secrets. I've been searching for. You can build the new swords and shapes. Sarah, shouldn't we get back before Ashka finds out you've tricked her? I can't believe now. This find is much too important. I'll go and watch the gates. a nightmare. We're supposed to have read some book by Homer Simpson or somebody. His name's just Homer. See, I borrowed a copy from Mr. Byrne. What? I can't read this. All right, my little words, miss. Take your bags to the door and trees and settle in. We'll meet in half an hour and have a spot of Homeric first before lunch. As soon as we get a chance, we'll sneak away up to the cave. Hey, what about lunch? <sighs> Impossible. Impossible. The fools. It was the spellbinder themselves who caused the darkness, not the marauders. What? The old spellbinders were trying to increase their powers, but something went wrong. Listen. Moments after the experiment began, the earth convulsed. Cracks appeared in the ground, and mountains of fire arose. Earthquakes and volcanoes. That's why your world is so different from mine. Go on. The sky was black with clouds, and the sun disappeared. The trees began to die. It sounds like a nuclear winter. In my world, people learned how to turn fireworks into bombs. One bomb can destroy a whole castle. A nuclear bomb is a million times more powerful. Madness. If enough of these went off, they would blow so much dust into the atmosphere that it would block out the sun. 
It would cause a winter that would last for years and all the animals and trees would die. That's what the old spellbinders must have done. They were arrogant fools, like Ashka. And Ashka already knows how to turn fireworks into bombs. And she must not be allowed to learn the secret of making gunpowder. We must find a way of sending you home. Great. We have to get to the summoning tower at Clay Hill. That's where I arrive. Put it back, Ivan! Put it back! <laughs> Brianna! Brianna! <laughs> Let me go, Brianna! Home is Iliad. He's full of suffering and pain. Young men die. Women and children lose husbands and fathers, but the gods, exempt from pain, look on. I'm suffering, all right. He's the pain. Let's start with something simple. What setting did Homer choose for his great human tragedy? Sky. The war between the Trojans and the Greeks. Come the Greeks! <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to be Greek, Nathan. Uh, well, since you've decided to pick sides, Nathan, you can begin reading from the start of book one. <coughs> um, sing, goddess, off the anger. Off a chilly, yes, yes. Son of Pilius. Um, the Acure said anger, which brought uncounted anguish, 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 anguish on the Achaeans, on the Achaeans. Um, Nathan wasn't feeling too well on the bus, sir. He suffers from car sickness. <laughs> oh. I'll take him to the toilet. Yes, yes, do. Now settle down, settle down. Sky, perhaps you can continue. <sighs> Thanks. Let's go up to the cave now. Careful. Tread gently, boy. Keep still. I can't. You're too heavy. Wait. I think I can reach. <laughs> Need some help? <laughs> yes, Ashka? I was expecting to meet Regent Corion. Corion left the castle this morning. It's very odd. He hasn't been outside the castle in years. You may wait for him here. So what are we looking for? I don't know, but let's go through what happened. Mm -hmm. Paul was standing here when he disappeared. Mm -hmm. The power surge came down the cable from there. Yeah. And this whole area is surrounded by magnetic rock. Yes, yeah, so? I don't know. Great. Marna, look and this I found the boy. Good. Bring him back to the castle. No. I am sending him back to his world. His knowledge is too dangerous for us. When you see what I have found, you will understand why. We demand that you bring him back. Regent! Gribble is out! No! Regents, I think I know where Corian and the boy are. Let me bring them back. Go. Yes! Alex, I'm trying to think. Oh, look, my team's in the semis here. If they win, they're in the grand finals. Alex! Look at here. Get inside the blue region of Orion, traveling with a boy called Paul. Did you say Paul? The boy's about 15 years with dark hair and speaks with a strange voice. 
Please pause. My things are to be reported to the spellbinders immediately. What's a spellbinder? Oh, yes. uh -huh. They use radios. Paul is in a parallel world and we can prove it exists. Well, if, if we can hear them, maybe they can hear us. Uh, if we had a radio transmitter... Where are we going to get a transmitter? They had walkie-talkies last time we were on the camp. I don't know why people say you're stupid. Who says I'm stupid? Come on, let's get back to the camp before they realise they're missing. Th who says I'm stupid? She'll find us. Can't you turn it off? No. We have to get rid of it. Give it to me and I'll leave her away from you. Don't be ridiculous. You're the one she's after. Give it to me. Clever girl. There's a radio in the camp, it'll be in here. Mm -hmm. Did you bring the book? Yeah. Start reading. If anyone comes in, we're just studying for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Agamemnon stabbed him in the forehead with his sharp spear. And it went through the bone and all his brains were splattered inside. Gross. Now, this is really good stuff. I think it's stupid. All those men killing each other over a girl? Yeah, well, you don't have to worry. No man's ever gone to war over you. Sorry. Any luck? No. Keep reading. <clears throat> a Agamemnon sliced off his arms and his head and rolled him down the hill like a log. Eureka! Oh, you beauties. It doesn't work, though. Um. Now it will. Let's go up to the cave now and try it out. What are you two doing here? We're preparing for tomorrow's class, sir. I was quite explicit about the rules for this camp, boys and girls. I'm not to fraternise after that. We weren't fraternising, sir. We were reading the Iliad. I'm sorry, but I will have to inform your parents tomorrow. Nathan, isn't it? Yes, sir. Nathan Jones. And Deanna McDougall. I'm very disappointed in you both. Come on, Deanna. I'll escort you back to the dormitory. Nathan, I expect you in bed by the time I get back. <coughs> what if Corin can't find a way to get you home? I don't want to think about it. What? I'm hungry. So are we. And if you don't behave yourself, we might think about eating you, Griven. Oh! Corian! Corian, look! Look! I should go no through down here. We can't land here, but we'll send for a man to find us. We have to go. <laughs> We're not far from Clay Hill. Our healer could help you. We have to get to the summoning tower. Why don't you leave me here? I'm only slowing you down. Shut up! <laughs> Paul, he's not well. <coughs> All right. The summoner asked after Liana again today. What did you tell her? Just what you told me, that she went hunting. But she's been gone four days. What if she's had an accident? It's all right. I haven't. Liana! We've been worried sick. Where have you been? To the Spellbinders' castle. What? <coughs> <coughs> 
Hello, Maren. Bron. Spellbinder. My daughter is a good girl. She can be white and stubborn, but... Apparently she learned it from her mother. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I mean your daughter's death. <coughs> he needs the healer. I'll get her. Bring him to the fire. His herbs are powerful. I feel better already. Drink some of this now and the rest tomorrow morning. Can you do magic? I am a spellbinder. Of course I can do magic. Watch. Jumping stones? <laughs> Take them. I will bring you good luck. <laughs> I'll make sure Ren is banished. Where's Paul? I don't know. He and Rihanna left early with Regent Corion. So why didn't the Greeks just pack up and go home? Because they're Greek. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. I mean, the Greeks were very proud warriors. They had to stay at Troy for their honor. Very good, Nathan. Pride and honor are at the crux of this story. And, of course, the, the Greeks would never give up a beautiful girl without a fight. Um, excuse me, sir. Can I please be excused for one minute? Well, make it quick, Nathan. We all value your comments. Now, everyone turn to page 43. Couldn't this wait till after class? I was doing really well. We're here to find Paul. Yeah, I know, but I stayed up all night reading. I've never finished a book before. It's fun. Oh, well, I'm glad you had fun. I was standing outside your dormitory for half the night waiting for you to come out. Yeah, I couldn't. Burn was sleeping outside my door. Why didn't you go up to the cave on your own? Because you had the battery. Oh, right. This is where I came through. In my world, Electricity jumped from the power lines and came down the cable. There was a huge flash. And when I could see again, I was standing here. There was energy sparking between the top of the tower and here. And after I knocked the ice stone down, the doorway or whatever it was closed, vanished. I think that when the summoner used his ice stone, the energy from this world must have connected with the energy in yours. That's what opened the doorway to your world. Let's see if we can make it happen again. But I smashed your eyes down. Now don't give up, Paul. I may not need one. Stand by the pedestal. Rihanna, stand back. I hope it works, Paul. It won't work without the cable in my world. I try increasing the power flow. Paul, you'd better move away.
It's working. It's on the wrong frequency. Can anybody hear me? Hello? Paul? Corian. How go back to Clay and get help? Hello, Paul. Please. I just want to go home. Rihanna, don't be stupid. You dare to disobey me? Leave him alone. Father, you must report it to the other regents. I'm sorry, Regent Cory. Rihanna, fetch my horse. We can't leave now. We have to go. It won't take Ashka long to guess where we are. Don't try to follow us. Don't worry. I will find a way to get you home. Talk to me, please! Uh, give me a go. <clears throat> this is Big Daddy Alex calling all hot thuggers in a parallel world. Do you copy? Come in, Dix. This is Big Al talking at you. All ears and I'm ready to receive. Who is this? We're looking for Paul Reynolds. Who are you? I am the spellbinder Ashka. How are we able to speak to the ice dog? Well, I... Well, well. Diana and Nathan, together again. I repeat, who is this? Whoever you are, this conversation's over. Oh, please, Mr. Byrne, we're looking for a missing friend. We've made contact with a parallel world. I've had enough of your lies. I've just been on the phone. The real Diana and Nathan are still at home. You two are in a lot of trouble. There is another summon in tower just ahead. We'll wait for the local summoner. I'll use his eye stone to contact the regions. Well, they didn't help us before. Why should they now? They will when I show them this. What's all this stuff doing here? I don't know. Marauders! Yeah. 